Hey guys, Mike Slane, the Discount Property Investor, doing a quick Burr example here on a property we purchased at uh, 4762 Alma. This is kind of a fun one. Uh, we purchased this in, uh, it's a little bit more downtown, so uh, normally we're doing a lot of uh, Florissant and uh, North County properties, but this one was a one bedroom. So it's a little bit more interesting in that uh, we got got the property for 72,000 and again we're always using a private lender uh, and back then we were estimating this is uh, May 2018 we were estimating 45 days to complete it and we thought we'd spend about 7,000 it was super super clean when we purchased the property so we weren't doing a lot of rehab but what we were doing again I mentioned this was a one bedroom property uh, we were gonna add a second bedroom now that sounds crazy, we're not gonna add something, and if you look back, is a big brick property, like we're not doing an addition. But what you've got on the front of this house, the whole front is a living space, and then the back is the kitchen, and the one bedroom and one bath. So what we did is we converted this dining area into a bedroom. So let's go ahead and take a look. Uh, so that was our rehab plan in a $7,000 budget. Uh, we don't have many before photos because it's just it's not easy to contrast it. So what happened is this is a hallway now. So that is the new wall that we added and we put a door right here into the bedroom. So if we're looking, this is in that new bedroom. We added this closet and you're looking at the window that we saw in the front of the house. So again, we've got a large living space here. Uh, this was the bathroom. We didn't do much besides clean this up really well. Again, the house was in really good shape. These floors were already here. Same thing here. So this is looking back. So this is in the front room now. So here's our living space. And we added this bedroom on the other side. Here's the kitchen. These cabinets were here. I believe we upgraded the appliance. Uh, maybe one or two of them I think wasn't working. But uh, they were stainless. They were there. This flooring was here. Uh, we just cleaned up the back. So that's the rehab on this one. It wasn't a very extensive project. We were just able to add value by adding a bedroom, cleaning it up, and getting it rentable. So how did we do this one, or what, what happened? Uh, we ended up spending $7,303 on repairs. So now we're all into this property for about $80,000. Had an appraisal done when we go to refinance, right? So buy it, rehab it. Now we're going to refinance it. We go to refinance this property and it appraises for $125,000. That's a huge equity capture, $45,000. What we did uh, kind of hurt our cash flow. What we did, we refinanced out $86,000. So this is truly, we're cashing out on this refinance. This was uh, about $80,000 invested, $86,000 loan. So we're able to bring in money when we refinance this property. This is very cool so we rented it for a thousand fifty a month and our cash flow is 243 which for us is below our standard below our metrics but we put six thousand dollars in our pocket when we refinance so it's not a bad deal all in all and we still have a little bit of cash flow on it guys this is the burr method this is very cool stuff buy rehab rent repeat or buy rehab rent refinance and repeat you get to do it over and over again we added $45,000 worth of equity to our portfolio and $243 a month in cash flow. What's amazing about the Burr strategy is you're able to use someone else's money to add assets and create equity for yourself. So we use a private money lender up front, then we refinance with a bank for long-term financing for better rates. We add properties to our portfolio very, very cool stuff, guys. If you're interested in learning more, check out The Burr Method. It's a book that we have published on Amazon, or you can visit us at freelandlordcourse.com. Thanks for visiting, guys.